Hello everyone, today's video for biochemistry in just 3 minutes is one of the important disorders which is frequently asked as a, as a pleasant short note not only in biochemistry but also in pathology, medicine and in pediatric that is sickle cell anemia. So sickle cell anemia is a genetic condition which occurs due to the replacement of glutamic acid by valine on the 6th position of beta globin chain of hemoglobin and this type of mutation is called as a partially acceptable missense point mutation. Now over here glutamic acid is a polar amino acid and valine is a non-polar amino acid and because of this replacement there is a formation of sticky patch on the surface of both oxyhemoglobin S as well as on the deoxy HBS and deoxy HBS has a complementary site for the sticky patch. So binding of this deoxy HBS will result in a polymerization and the formation of one long fiber like structure which will distort the shape of RBC into the sickle cell. That's why the name of the condition is sickle cell anemia. Now the sickle cell RBCs are more fragile and they can be easily destroyed by macrophages resulting in a hemolytic anemia. And this RBC this RBC will have a decreased capacity for carrying oxygen which will result in a tissue damage, inflammation and hypoxia. Now what are the signs and symptoms of sickle cell anemia? So sickle cell anemia will be characterized by pallor, shortness of breath, fatigue, tiredness, fever, repeated infection, priapism and bone pains. Fine. Now one important aspect that you have to remember for the sickle cell anemia that is sickle cell anemia protects against malaria infection. As in the sickle cell anemia, RBC shape is changed to the sickle cell, so they are more fragile, so, so their lifespan is reduced. So as their lifespan is reduced, so the malarial parasites are not able to complete their life cycle in the sickle cell RBC. So that's why sickle cell anemia protects against malaria. Another condition which protects against malaria is the G6PD deficiency. Now how to do the diagnosis of uh, sickle cell anemia. So sickle cell anemia can be diagnosed by sickling test, by observing the sickle cell RBC on in the peripheral smear and by doing the electrophoresis. Now what about the management? So sickle cell anemia is mostly managed by, managed by the symptomatic management of signs and symptoms, particularly the bone pains by the various uh, painkillers as well as by doing the blood transfusion. So that is all about sickle cell anemia. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.